Good morning, God Minute family, abundant blessings, and a warm welcome to our prayer today. We're so grateful you're with us as we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my my mouth mouth shall shall declare declare your praise. praise. Psalm 5, Song of the Clouded Dawn Listen to my passionate prayer. Can't you hear me groaning, Lord? Don't you hear how I'm crying out to you? My King and my God, consider my every word, for I call to you in the night. At each and every sunrise, You will hear my voice, O God, as I offer my sacrifice of prayer and praise to you. Lord, lead me in the pathway of your pleasure, just like you promised me you would. Smooth out your road in front of me, straight and level, so that I will know where to walk. But I know the way back home. I know you will welcome me into your house. For I am covered by your covenant of mercy and love. I come with deepest awe, bowing in worship and adoration of you. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 9. He who has a generous eye will be blessed for he gives of his bread to the poor. God bless. Okay, first things first. We are all blessed. Because God is love, we are. Because we are, we can love in return. We are now caught up in God's very life. We can grow in goodness and the power of blessing Goodness opens our eyes, our minds, our hearts. What a gift to be alive. A gift that magnifies our very souls as we learn more and more to love as we have been loved. We need not make ourselves generous. We need only to recognize and accept God's gift. We give so as to be true to ourselves. We are God's very own. Now can... Ideas or attitudes get in the way of a generous eye? Sure enough. Here's an example. How much is enough? It is true that we humans need some fundamental goods. Nourishment, shelter, education, freedom, respect, love, to name only some. Deprived of these, we are diminished. But how much exactly do we need? What can we willingly sacrifice and not be diminished? Where do the seeds of never enough come from? How do we recognize abundance? For if we do, we know gratitude and generosity. Security is also a real human need, yet it is also readily manipulated. Is a good life stress-free? Are challenges always to be avoided and perceived negatively? Can we have hope in the midst of trial and challenge? I'll bet everyone has heard the suggestion that God only gives us what we can handle. Well, from what we know of God's love, if that is true, get ready to be crucified. God gives us love fully expressed in the gift of his Son the one who, by living and loving, embraced defeat and death on the cross so that we might live life fully with all of its challenges 
and live it gratefully no matter what. God's grace is enough, St. Paul teaches. Love is risky and costly, true enough. Yet we discover what love gives if we accept and understand it always makes it, makes us more. Isn't that enough? So, let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for bringing me to be. Your love gives life. Give me, Lord, a generous eye, sight which gives powerful wisdom. Make me more and more ready and willing to love, to give lovingly, to the poor especially. May your blessings to me flower into blessings for this waiting world. May your will be done, your kingdom come. May generosity reign. Amen. Let us surrender our hearts to God now and pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver, deliver us, us from, from evil. evil. Amen. Amen. Father Jim had that beautiful prayer at the end of his reflection. So let's let that be our guide as we move through this day. And may God's blessing follow us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I was wearing my Godminute t-shirt recently, and someone at the Walmart asked me what it was. Was it an app or a website? And I just smiled and told them it was neither, but rather a family of people who love the Lord spread around the world. <laughs> because that's exactly what it is, you and me, and how good that feels. Thank you for belonging. Thank you for praying with us today. And we'll see you tomorrow.